Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habita fillah continue on in our mentioning some of the athar of the salaf rahimahumullah jami'an with regards to the importance of avoiding backbiting. So then we learn, what do we learn from this? That a characteristic of the Salaf is detesting riba and backbiting. Whereas in contemporary times, now, we see that people thrive on it. And unfortunately, even people who claim, or perhaps sometimes are adherents of the Salaf, uh, the Salafi Minhaj, actually thrive and become some of the biggest proponents of riba and namima. Listen to this narration. Yuqulu Shayrazi Sahartu Laylatin Ma'abi Wa Hawalna Niyam Fakult لم يكن من هؤلاء من يصلي ركعتين فقال يا بني لو نم لو نم لو نمت لو نمت لكان خيرا من وقوعك في خلق امام الشيرازي رحمه الله تعالى he said i stayed up the full night with my father, meaning staying up in ibadah and prayer, and we and then and we tried to sleep, you know, tried to gain just a little bit of sleep, and then I said, "Those people." He was talking about others. He said, "Those people over there, they didn't pray, nor did they. Uh, they didn't pray uh, rakatain." You know, they didn't get up and pray Rakatain. And his father replied, Oh, my son, if you had slept, it would have been better for you than to speak ill about the creation, meaning to backbite, even something as slight as mentioning in a stern way that those other individuals didn't get up and pray the Rakatain, uh, pray, pray any uh, qiyam al layl or, or any extra ibadah that he said that it would have been better for you to have slept and not have prayed qiyam al layl than to have spoken ill about them. That's a lesson from the Salaf that we should be cautious of our tongue speaking about others even in the what we sometimes deem in the smallest way. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.